Hello everybody, I hope you're all well and staying safe at the moment, and hopefully soon we can get back to some sort of normality. Today I'd like to show you a magic trick. As some of you might already know, I did used to be a member of the Magic Circle. The trick I'm going to show you today is a beginner level card trick, uh, but it always gets very good reviews when I do it to my family and friends. And then after that I'm also going to show you a sleight of hand trick, which is a method on how to deceive the audience, which will also come in handy if you wanted to take up magic, or if you just see it on TV and you can uh, detect how they're trying to deceive people. So first I'm going to start with the performance of the trick. So pick a card, any card. Let's say you pick this card. So while well, you have a look at that, there we go. Now I'm going to take that, put it middle of the pack-ish, like there, push it into the deck, and it is completely lost now. I'm not holding on to the card in any way. Now what I'm going to do is take the cards behind my back for a few seconds, bring it back, and there's your card. I'm sure a lot of you are looking at your phone right now and just thinking, what an idiot. However, I can conclude that I have found your card, and it is the only face down card in the pack. There. So, to do this trick, you are going to have to set it up. Uh, the first thing you want to do is turn the bottom card face up, which is easy to do though if you walk up to a group, easy just to flick the bottom card over, and then you're ready to go. So you ask the audience to pick a card, let's say that one, so in this case it's the Ace of Spades. Now while they're looking at the card, you're actually misdirecting them, you're going to flip the card in your hand like that. All of the, all the cards are turned over now, and that leaves all the cards also face up, apart from the top card. As I say, I've never had anyone uh, detect this. They're always looking at the card, just trying to remember it, ace of spades, ace of spades, you know, um, so you've got no problems with that. Then all you're going to do is take back the card, put it in about middle of the pack, but it doesn't actually matter anymore because you know that all the cards are face up by the top. Prove that you're not holding on to it and push it in, like that. Now all I do behind my back is push it over like that. So the top card now has been flipped over, bring it back and then the rest is just acting. The trick's already done. Now you'll see that the, the card that they selected is the only face down card. But now you can say, oh, there's your card. And then they'll think, oh, it's not. And you know, just play for that. There's many ways that you can play it out at the end, but that's how I do it. It always gets a chuckle. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna now show you how to do the hand slide. So this can actually be incorporated incorporated into a very basic trick. So you take the deck of cards, turn over the top card, in this case the king of diamonds, and then what you do is you put that card about the middle of the pack, snap your fingers and comes back to the top. What you're actually doing in this situation is you're doing what's called a double lift. So you're picking up two cards at once. So two cards are being picked up. Now, to disguise this and to make it as slick as possible, what you want to do is get a pinky break at the back. So, pull up the top two cards, like that, and then just drop it on your pinky. This is known as a pinky break, as I say. And from the front, you can see that there's absolutely no way that you could know that that's what's happening. Then, all you want to do is grab it at that break and turn it over, like that. And then the same, keep the break, and then turn it back over the other way. Then just take that top card, put it in the middle, or whatever, snap your fingers, and then it comes back to the top. As I say, this is used by most magicians in the majority of card tricks, um, so I'm kind of ruining that for my community now. But um, it is it is good to know if you're watching and if you easily get frustrated by the magicians. Um, there are also other ways that you can make it look a bit more slick. So if you turn it over like that, you bend the card, it looks like it's definitely one card uh, but you can perfect that on your own anyway anyway that's it for today so uh, I hope you enjoyed that and hopefully I'll be back working at the bar soon um, and more importantly we can get back to our golf so I look forward to seeing you there